fusion power plants on our planet? Giving us cleaner and safer energy? It might be more likely than you think. Right now in St. Paul et Durance in southern France, construction for an expensive fusion power plant is taking place. Named the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER for short, this will be our magnetic confinement reactor. But what does it mean to have this sort of reactor? What we are trying to do with this power plant is to see if we can build our very own sun to power our cities. But why would we build a sun on the Earth? And wouldn't that be dangerous? Even more so than a nuclear meltdown like the one in Chernobyl? And what makes it so important that 35 countries have been working on it for more than three decades. In this video, we're going to learn about the purpose of this energy plant, how it works, and its components. We'll also be talking about what makes each component inside the ITER important. So what is the purpose of a fusion power plant? Well, we want to be able to use energy in a safer manner that is better for the environment. The sun already helps us with giving our bodies warmth, helping our crops grow, giving us killer tans. But consider for a moment the concept of developing our own sun. Think of the beauty of containing and taming our very own cosmic and stellar being to give us the power we need to generate electricity into our own homes. The good news is that with the Takamak under construction, we already have that possibility. The bad news? Well, it's a Takamak. That means that this reactor will be built for nothing more than experimental purposes. While the overall purpose of a fusion power plant is to give us energy, according to the ITER official website, their purpose is, quote, to prove feasibility of fusion as a large-scale and carbon-free source of energy, end quote. ITER is an experimental reactor. The next step will be a demonstration reactor. So, while we are working toward this goal with fusion energy, it will take some time. In fact, the construction of ITER will most likely be completed in the 2050s. Quick fact, ITER is also a Latin word for the way, and Takamak is a Russian acronym that means toroidal chamber with magnetic coils. Let's go over the mechanics of this large machine. What exactly is inside this reactor? We'll start with the plasma's home base. The plasma will be making itself a home inside the nine sectors of the vacuum vessel. This donut-shaped chamber is where all of the action will take place. Hydrogen gas, made out of the hydrogen isotopes called deuterium and tritium, will be placed inside here to be heated to 150 million degrees Celsius and, from there, be turned into plasma. It will also act as a first safety containment barrier. But soon, what's left over from the process will be helium ash along with other impurities. The solution? There's a diverter at the bottom of each vacuum vessel sector that will store the impurities before they get extricated. Each of these diverters will be covered with tungsten, a metal with the highest melting point. As much as the vacuum vessel forms the home and the diverter is the garbage chute, we need to give credit to our magnets. They will be the ones doing a lot of the work. Without them, we wouldn't have the possibility of a working tokamak. Three systems of magnets will be working together inside the ITER to shape the plasma into a giant starlit donut. How? Well, first there are the six ring-shaped poloidal field magnets. Their job is to keep the plasma away from the walls of the vacuum vessel. They'll be assisted by their friends, the 18 toroidal field magnets. According to ITER's head of communication, Laban Kolbens, both of these systems will create an invisible magnetic cage inside the steel vacuum vessel chamber. But it doesn't end there. The third system of magnets is the central solenoid magnet, which is the most powerful magnet in this experimental reactor. Kolbens mentions that not only will this assist with the cage that the other two magnets are meant to create, but it will twist the flux lines of the magnetic field and draw a long sustained current through the plasma. To put it simply, all of these magnets are to give the plasma its donut shape. Covering the vacuum vessel will be the cooling blanket. A mere blanket may not sound like much, but this is what will protect the structure and the toroidal field magnets from 
all of that heat the plasma makes, as well as the high-energy neutrons. They'll cover the inner walls of the vacuum vessel. Finally, the cryostat will help to keep the environment of the tokamak cool. It's made out of stainless steel and surrounds the vacuum vessel and the magnets. ITER declares it to be the largest stainless steel vacuum chamber in the world, with a total volume being 16,000 cubic meters and 3,800 metric tons of steel. Quick fact, you can actually 3D print your own model of a tokamak. Just click on the link at www.iter.org slash newsline slash minus slash three four seven seven you can visit the page to find the links for how to construct it warning models do not actually produce fusion energy let's take a moment to appreciate all of the 35 countries that are being put to work on this thing since 1985. you can tell how committed everyone is to work together just by seeing how many different countries are helping manufacture the machine the cryostat for example is manufactured in india four of the vacuum vessels are made in korea and five are made in Europe. The countries in charge of manufacturing the magnets vary. The ones making the poloidal field magnets range from China to St. Petersburg, Russia, to the rest being made in Europe simply because they would be too large for travel. Half of the toroidal field magnets are made in Japan and the other half are made in Europe. Lastly, the six modules of the solenoid are made in the US. Okay, but what is all of this hard work for? What are we hoping to accomplish by putting a sun on our terrestrial world? Picture this. Remember when that nuclear power plant in Chernobyl turned into a total disaster to the point where the land around the area became completely uninhabitable? We wouldn't have the same problem with a fusion power plant. You see, if something were to go wrong, the plasma would only cool off within seconds. That's it. Plus, the energy produced from the fusion will be carbon-free. This means that the fusion won't create any carbon dioxide nor greenhouse gases, which would be harmful to the environment. This will in turn reduce carbon emissions. The major byproduct of fusion would be helium. And even though this will be placed in a diverter, helium isn't a toxic gas. Fusion can't even be exploited to make a nuclear weapon due to there being no fissile materials nor any enriched materials that can make such a scenario possible. This makes a fusion power plant that much safer. Think of all the energy that will be available. Fusion energy will give us 4 million times more energy than burning coal, oil, or gas can ever hope to give us. And it will also give us 4 times more energy than nuclear fission reactors. Not too shabby for an energy plant that will contain a star. Thanks to this type of energy plant, a cleaner and safer Earth is possible. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Remember, ITER will not be the plant that gives us energy. This is only an experimental plant. After it hopefully shows us success, research will move on to DEMO, a demonstration power plant. As you can imagine, there's still a lot of work to do with fusion energy. Conclusively, our scientists are truly attempting to build a new kind of power plant that will move through an experimental stage before we set out to build one that will power our homes. As mentioned before, this can take some time, but work on this machine will not freeze in amber here. As of right now, the first two pieces, which are the base and the lower cylinder of the cryostat, are in place. You can check out the progress of the Takamak on their official website at iter.org. This website will give you a far more detailed look at all of the components inside as well as give you news related to the tokamak there is also an amazing photo gallery and you can even enjoy a 3d tour of the machine so check it out and see all of the features of the site and iter for yourselves